I want to take this opportunity to thank, commend, and urge our support for the preservation of the landmarks, the birth home, and the history and the legacy of Dr. Benjamin Elijah Mays. It is not your environment. It is you, the quality of your mind, the integrity of your soul, and the determination of your will that will decide your future and shape your life. Lord knows that those black men, all of us needed that encouragement and that inspiration that he imparted. He had all of his students, uh, the ones that he thought had leadership potential, like Martin Luther King, like Maynard Jackson. He got them summer jobs in a tobacco field. Now that's hell. You can't stand up. There's a net about that high. And so you're crawling uh, in the dirt, uh, in the Connecticut sun, in June, July, and August. He really felt that in order to be a leader, you had to understand the plight of the ordinary man. Every man and woman is born into the world to do something unique and something distinctive. And if he or she does not do it, it will never be done. I think it's important that we as a people understand who he was and the contributions that he made to our well-being. We should know more about an historical figure such as Dr. Mays, who was one of the most significant black men in our history. Whenever I had a difficult decision in the field of education or social justice or human rights, I would call Dr. Mays and often he would come to the White House. He was an icon and important to the world, not just the kids at Morehouse. He was always a leader seeking to get equality uh, for black people especially, but for the larger issue of social justice. However hard the road, however difficult today, tomorrow things will be better. Tomorrow may not be better, but we must believe that it will be. He ended up, you know, leading a lot of folks to where we are today to have this black excellence and this inclusivity in business and religion and then, you know, government. This was a man who pulled himself up in an entire generation of black folks that he taught, nurtured, and set an example for. Dr. Mays really laid it all on the line for future generations. And so, uh, you know, we judge a tree by the fruit that it bears. Well, Dr. Benjamin Elijah Mays produced a lot of good fruit. We today stand on the shoulders of our predecessors who have gone before us. We, as their successors, must catch the torch of freedom and liberty passed on to us by our ancestors. We cannot lose in this battle. The bravery of this man, the courage of this man, inspired so many others. I mean, we know about Martin Luther King Jr., but that's just one of so many people. And there's not a better role model than a Benjamin E. Mays. For men and women, Dr. Mays represents the best, I think, that humanity has. Let's continue the legacy. And build a better tomorrow. Together. together. Join us. I have only just a minute. Only 60 seconds in it. Forced upon me, can't refuse it. Didn't seek it, didn't choose it. But it's up to me to use it. I must suffer if I lose it. Give account if I abuse it. Just a tiny little minute, but eternity is in it.